hope you're good if you're new around here hi my name is abby and if you're not new thank you for coming back to watch another video so in today's video i will be doing another jewelry haul so i got some jewelry from another instagram brand called boho boho moon <laughs> boho moon um and yes yeah, so i just wanted to share some of them i love a good bargain mate so i thought i would try some of their goodie bags so boho moon have these goodie bags where you can basically pay is it 10 or 15 pounds i feel like it might be 10 pounds and all their jewelry is um is it 18 karat gold let me just fact check please hold yeah so their jewelry is either 18 karat gold plated stainless steel or silver which is pure stainless steel no plating and then they also have a rose gold option so it's rose gold plated stainless steel and then they also have a sterling silver uh, which they also uh, which they've created a separate website for so they have a link on the boho moon website where you can shop so sterling silver and it's a brand it's like a sister brand called laphoria so so i tried two of their goodie bags and they have a goodie bag for every category so they have a goodie bag for ear cuffs um necklaces bracelets rings and did i say earring? earrings um with me i'm very picky when it comes to like earrings because i'm only interested in hoop earrings and for it, because it's a goodie bag i just didn't want to get earrings that i know i wouldn't wear like huggies or i don't know small earrings or i don't know whatever so i didn't want to take a chance on that um i know i knew with some of the bracelets because people had left reviews i kind of saw a pattern in the, in terms of the type of bracelets that people were getting and i actually really liked them so i opted for the bracelet and the rings as well i think i like the majority of their rings so i figured um i wouldn't get a bad ring and for the earring i got one earring that i chose myself so i i so basically i'm going to be trying their ring and bracelet goodie bags or i'm going to be showing you their ring and goodie the, their ring and bracelet goodie bags um i got two separate orders but i'm going to show both orders here just you know to because you know there, there are only a few items so boho moon like i said is an instagram brand and they do tarnish is it tarnish and yeah so tarnish proof and waterproof jewelry they don't quite have the lifetime warranty that Neve has on the website in terms of their jewelry and they also do offers from time to time so i think i'm i'm signed up to the newsletter anyway to know when they have offers and if i like something then obviously i know if i'm not in a hurry to get it i'd rather wait for the offer to come and then get it that way because the way i got these it was it wasn't you know it was a bargain getting um let me just check what the price was the goodie bag the bracelet goodie bag is 15 three for 15 pounds um the earring goodie bag is three for 10 the rings are three for 15 and the ear cuff is three for 10 and then what's left the necklaces are three for 10 at the time when i was ordering these um rings and bracelets the earring goodie bag was out of stock so I'm going to show you the gold options first and the first one I got was a Cartier like bracelet because and the thing is can I say I was disappointed actually, I wasn't disappointed I actually didn't mind getting this but so this is what the bracelet looks like and you can see it has the kind of nail um, emboss is it emboss or stamp whatever you want to call it and it opens like that and I have one that I bought from Amazon but this is from an Amazon brand called Philip Jones and it actually has stones in it but it's the same shape this one is slightly thicker and slightly heavier but this one has stones in it and I got this from, from Amazon um, and yeah 18 karat gold plated as well this is I think is it thicker 
do you know what for some reason i think because this has stones in it that's what makes it heavier it's actually the same thickness it's the same thickness but yeah so i got this in the goodie bag and i don't mind because this doesn't have stones in it so far i want to wear this on an everyday basis and i could save this for like i don't know the events or something because it has the stones i don't tend to wear diamante that often but um so i think that would probably suit my dress sense in terms of like every day and then i got this amazing bracelet which i absolutely love now this is the cartier dupe in the neve haul i did show you a, a bracelet that looked similar to this in terms of it looking almost like a nail head but both sides were were um both sides had this kind of nail head to them and it was like a coil type of um, um material is it was kind of stretchy whereas this is pure stainless steel and i think um oh what's her name one of the influencers i watch uh what is her name she has a amazing personality she is funny fashion and politics <laughs> gosh took me a while so yeah um so she bought a just is that i think it's called a just just on clue bracelet from cartier i want to say so this is a dupe of that but i just like the fact that it looks like a nail it's so unusual i mean if it, if it had no affiliation to a designer brand whatsoever i would just love it because it's so unique i love stuff like this so this is a really really good uh, bracelet option for me and then I got one that I'm kind of like mm, meh about it's this this is just like a generic bracelet so it's just a generic chain link bracelet it's like an everyday and you can layer this with another another bracelet so I don't mind this but yeah it's kind of the one that sticks out as being ordinary but the other two are really good so those are the three that i got for my 15 pounds which is amazing judging by the the reviews and the pictures i think if i was to order this i'll probably get a similar set again so i think once you've ordered one goodie bag you're probably good because i think the products that they're putting in their goodie bags are the products that they have as overstock and a lot of the reviews had at least these two bracelets so i don't want to risk it and order another goodie bag thinking i'm going to get another mix because i'm probably not and then the ring set that i got uh here so i got luckily i got two complementary rings which is really really good i got them in a size six um but luckily they fit but they kind of only fit on my ring finger some of them and then because they're all different sizes i don't mind i guess Let's go. Ouch. yeah so some of them fit on my index and my ring finger but none of them because they're like all the same size you don't get to choose different sizes within the goodie bag so um, my ring finger doesn't fit any of these rings so the first one i got was the nail again with the bracelet which is really really nice i love stuff like this in a size six like i said the second option is oddly enough um it's like the cartier dupe bracelet but this one has alternating stones and a like a nail head then a stone then a nail head and it's quite skinny it's like maybe i want to say maybe three millimeters i don't know if you can even see but it has a stone So it's quite skinny and again it just looks like a typical band let me just show you and then lastly 
I got this kind of Chinese writing ring. Again, it fits this finger. So those are the rings. I'm really, really happy with these rings as well. And I love the fact that two of them match. So I love the fact that two of them match the bracelets that I got. And then, all Boho Moon products come in this, um, uh, what do you call it, this envelope. So I did say I got a single pair of earrings by themselves. So now these came in a little pouch with Boho Moon on them. And I really, really wanted, um, I used to have, I used to get like my um, square hoops. I just used to love square hoops so much because they were just so unusual. Usually you get a round hoop and I just thought, you know, square hoops were the thing. I bought like two different sets from eBay. Of course they weren't plated at the time because I think I was like, I don't know, in college or whatever. And I remembered really liking them and I thought, oh, let me see if I can find them and I searched everywhere I couldn't find them or at least if I did find them um, I couldn't find a gold plated one I didn't want to buy another fashion jewelry that was just gonna tarnish so I saw on Boho Moon that they had these but I thought they were bigger I don't know if I maybe misread <laughs> the description but I thought they were bigger and they're a little bit small for my liking because this is like the size of the, of the hoop that I like I mean I'm willing to have smaller hoops than this but they are definitely smaller than the ones I used to love that weren't plated. So they are quite small for me, but they I think they measure one about maybe three, three and a half centimeters. Uh, just over an inch, maybe an inch and a half, I'm guessing is the equivalent. So, I mean, they're not bad, they're not invisible, <laughs> but I just want them to be bigger. But I do like that they are uh, available, at least I can buy them as they are gold plated and I just hope that they don't tarnish. Um, but yeah, so these are the earrings I got on their own. So, and they have like a clasp opening as well. And please do hit that like button if you're enjoying the video so far. So next I have my silver set. I don't know if I mentioned that I got a gold and a silver set at the beginning of this video, but um, I started off wearing jewelry, um, wearing silver jewelry, sterling silver at the time because for some reason I just wanted to go, just wanted to be different because everybody around me was wearing gold. Um, and I really, really loved silver for such a long time. And then I think, I don't even know what happened, Some sometime between college and maybe my second or third job, I started switching back to gold or like fashion jewelry. Um, my first job out of uni was in um, like stock allegation and that's kind of leading into merchandising and buying. So you get access to the actual samples of products that you're, you know, gonna be allocating and I worked in a jewelry company at the time so that's actually what got me into jewelry proper like properly um, so that's actually what got me into jewelry properly and I got heavily <laughs> invested in like when I say fashion jewelry I mean chunky jewelry like statement jewelry and statement jewelry was a thing back then and I would come into the office all decked out because I mean we all came into the office decked out because we got free samples so and I still have like a whole box I mean I used to have boxes on boxes on boxes it wasn't until we moved that I got rid and I just gave a lot of it to charity because I wasn't wearing them but they were really really beautiful pieces and I would still wear them I'm just going through like a I want to call it fine trendy jewelry stage right now but I do like if you think like wooden bangles and like colorful bangles nothing too frou-frou nothing beaded or like dated or like for like an older woman it's all trendy jewelry that you'd see in like Topshop because those were the kind of the, the company I worked for supplied 
um, jewelry for like Topshop and like um, other Dorothy Perkins or other high street brands. So all the concessions that you see in the majority of these high street brands were supplied by this company that I worked for as an allocator at then, uh, fresh out of uni. So I got really, really heavily into like trendy, chunky statement jewelry. But now I'm going through, and then I never imagined myself wearing like fine, what I call fine jewelry. <laughs> but I guess it's kind of fine slash trendy jewelry. Um, never imagined I'd be wearing jewelry like this because literally, for the majority of my adult life, I was like, you know, in statement jewelry. I'd have wooden bangles with an earrings, just lots of different things that just made me stand out. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, a little sidebar there, but so back to the silver jewelry, but the first type of jewelry that I actually ever bought with my own money, my, uh, my hair money, because I used to do hair for all my friends and then I got clients through secondary school and college was silver, sterling silver to be exact. So. I tried their silver goodie bag like I mentioned and of course they gave me the nail bracelet as well in silver and if you're wondering how to open it as well because I struggled I mean I struggled so much with this I was so close to calling up <laughs> the, the actual customer service so there's a little click yeah so you just I think I, you, you basically wiggle it before it pops so if I click it again, so if you have this and you're wondering how to open it, you just, you pull it and wiggle. In fact, you don't even need to wiggle, just push it in, pull it in towards you and it pops. So you don't even need to wiggle because I was wiggling it all day today before I discovered. So yeah, I just like it a lot. It's so different. And if I'm ever feeling like wearing jewelry, um, silver jewelry one day, this is the one I, I will probably reach for. And then I got <clears throat> this, uh, again, the silver Cartier dupe. I'm guessing this is, they must have a lot of stock on this. This is just got the, the nail head again, no diamante or anything. Careful so you don't pinch your skin, ouch. So yeah, this is what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. And then lastly, I kind of got what I would call a throwaway bracelet. Completely useless. It's basically one of those things that you get like a tag. Um, I guess I could wear it just because it's there but I would never buy this so this is one of those um, options that is basically a waste for me and I, I just don't see how this would have been worth £10 to begin with but it's kind of one of those things you get to hold like charms on your bag like my daughter has one of these chains on um, the things that she attaches to her bags so yeah this is a throwaway one but I guess I'll wear it because it's there I might use it as a charm holder thing and then for the rings again I got a thicker ring this time so this is much thicker than the gold option this is like what I call maybe men's size um, and this I got in a, oh size 7 I don't get it how come I got a size 7 in this I swear the other gold rings I got in a size 6. I don't know what I was on. I think. Mm, yeah, I definitely got the gold in size 6. I think maybe because I wasn't sure, I thought let me just hedge my bets and place an order for each. At least it's going to fit one, one of my fingers. So this actually as a size 7, it's funny as a size 7, this actually still fits my, um, goodness, my ring finger and it fits, kind of fits my index finger if I push it down. I also got the skinny version as well. 
which just has the heads. It has the nail heads. You can see it next to the big one. And these I got in a size 7, but they both. This is a bit more loose. Let me see if it fits my middle finger. Ugh. I swear my fingers get swollen at night because this was very easy to put on in the, mor in the morning. Jeez Louise. Yeah, so this fits my middle finger quite easily. But I think because this is thicker, yeah, because it's thicker, it's a bit tighter. So this doesn't quite fit my middle finger. But because I want them to sit on top of each other, I think I'll probably just wear it on this finger. Or maybe I'll wear it on both. But yeah, they look quite nice stacked. And then lastly, I got the nail head in silver as well in a size 7. I think this will fit my middle finger, yeah. And these are really cool. So that's it, so those are all my pieces from Boho Moon. If anything changes with them, I will probably do an update video, maybe a quick one, um, just to let you guys know, or you can always leave a comment maybe two, three months down the line, let me, and ask me how they're uh, doing if they've tarnished and, or if they're actually okay um, I've had mixed reviews um, I've had people in other people's videos leave comments saying that some of their pieces have tarnished whereas the people who did the videos said their pieces didn't tarnish like there was a girl who actually um, she did like a little tarnish wear test um, she didn't wear the pieces but she actually put them in three different solutions she put them in water she put one in uh, hand sanitizer and then she'll put another one in oh, I can't remember like salty water kind of to replicate what you would get if you were like swimming swimming every day in the sea or something like in you know if you if you're going swimming and if you were uh yeah anyway just to see if they do tarnish because she said like me she doesn't wear her jewelry in water um so she couldn't always give an, an opinion on whether or not they tarnish so she put them in little cups and left them on the windowsill obviously so they're getting hit by light as well so it's kind of like a water and a heat test for two weeks and all of the pieces she put in came out absolutely fine but the only caveat to that is that she didn't like it's not like a double blind test if we're getting if we're getting specific and scientific where you have two options um, and you have the trial option and the you know the control which is the one that so basically if I had two necklaces exact copies two exact necklaces if I then put one in water one in um, sanitizer and one in what was the last thing um, salty water and I had uh, a control uh, an untarnished unused version of that necklace then I can actually take those three necklaces out and compare them to this untarnished on un, you know untested necklace to see how they compare because she took them out she said oh you know they look absolutely fine but those are just that's just to your own eyes because you've seen them if you compare them to a new necklace that you've never worn then you can see whether or not they've changed color but i mean from the video i could see that they looked fine so i guess for the fact that they've been soaking in water for literally two weeks on a windowsill being hit by light and heat and they were fine so i think for the most part i think boho moon jewelry does stay relatively tarnish free for quite a while so yeah um check out you'll probably see that video if you google boho moon i actually can't remember her name um but yeah google boho moon you probably see tarnish test or something in the video so it was a really good video actually and really useful so yeah so that's everything if you wanted to check out boho moon i'll leave links to these products there won't be affiliate links or anything just links if you wanted to buy the ones if you wanted to like shop the goodie bags like me if you wanted to kind of test out the brand without investing too much because the individual pieces are to me quite expensive like some of the necklaces are anything from like 15 to 25 pounds i'd rather get a goodie bag just to at least test out the brand before investing that much 
so yes i think it's a good way to test the brand and i love the fact that they have the goodie bag option it's just that you don't have control over what you get so if you like me with bracelets and rings if you're not too picky or if you think you're probably going to get a good if you have a hunch that you're going to get a good mix then try maybe the bracelet and the rings um I, I didn't get the necklaces because they were sold out but i think i will try them hopefully fingers crossed i get a good batch and i'll show them on my channel later on so yes that's it if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up 